Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video and uh, please don't forget to support this channel by liking this video and also by subscribing to this channel. In the previous video, I showed you how to check whether a sequence of characters is really contained in a given string by using the Java string contains method. And what we could note was that the Java string contains a method was, is a case sensitive method. So now in this video, I will show you a trick that uh, will allow you to perform a case insensitive check using the contains method. So the trick is that while checking the strings, we will have to convert both the strings to either lowercase or uppercase by using um, the um, to lowercase method or the um, to uppercase method. So I'm going to show you with an example exactly what I mean by that. So as you can see on the screen, I have already declared two string variables. So I have the first variable, which I have called uh, sentence, and the second one I have called sequence. And as you can see in the first the string variable, I have initialized it by uh, storing this string value, I love programming in it. And in the second string var variable, I have stored this uh, string value uh, programming and as you can see programming in the second uh, string variable is in all caps okay is an uppercase um, characters you know all the characters in that uh, string are uppercases so now I will show you how you can um, check whether this sequence Okay, this string variable, the second uh, string variable is really contained inside the first string variable, even though the um, second string variable is all capital letters. Okay, so how to do that? As I said, uh, the trick is going to be to convert both the strings that you are checking. So let me do a system that out that print line and in here i will let me do the semicolon first and in my system of out that print line what i'm going to do as i said i need to convert so in order for me to convert my strings i need to write the name of my string variable and then this um, method to lowercase method so what this method does is that it's going to convert my string variable sentence into lowercase so whenever or whatever it's going to find an uppercase character it's going to convert it into a lowercase and next what i'm going to do is that i'm write that contains so contains is the contains method and inside this method I am going to also write the name of my second string variable, which is sequence here. And I will do sequence. And this second string variable will need to be converted as well. So since I have converted the first string variable into a lowercase, so that means that my second string variable will also need to be converted into lowercase so i will write that to lowercase and open and close the bracket like this so you will see that if i run this program i'm going to get true here okay and uh, i will explain to you why so i'm getting true okay why am i getting true because i have converted all both my strings here into lower cases. So 
So if you convert this first string into lowercase, you know, you will still get I love programming, but all the characters are going to be lowercase. And uh, if you also convert this second string variable here into a lowercase, uh, lower cases, you will get programming in lower case. So all the characters in this string are going to be in a lowercase format. So all the my two strings are now in lowercase format, and then this contained method is going to be evaluated. So it's going to be evaluated using the lowercase versions of my two uh, string variables. So that's why I'm getting true here because it the program is going to consider consider this programming uh, string value as a lowercase and uh, this programming string value also as a uh, lowercase. So true here means that this programming is uh, indeed contained in this sentence string variables. So that's why I am getting true here. Okay, so as I said, you can use the to lowercase method or you can also use the to uppercase method. Okay, like to uppercase like this, to uppercase, I will still get true. Okay, so to uppercase will mean that this string variable value is going to be converted into uh, uppercase. So all the characters are going to be upper, uppercase characters. And uh, this second string value is also going to be converted into uppercase. So all the characters are going to be uppercase. And then it's going to check whether the second string is contained in the first string. Okay, so it's returning true because, uh, yeah, indeed it's contained uh, in uh, the first string if we consider that the first string has been con uh, converted into an uppercase. Um, all the characters in the first string have been converted into uppercase characters. So guys, that was it, how you can just, um, you know, use this uh, to uppercase or to lowercase method in order to um, avoid the case sensitivity of the contains method and to make sure that no matter how uh, the case format of your sequence of character is written, that you still want to get um, like a certain result, an expected result. Okay, so I hope this video was informative and uh, please don't forget to like this video and also to comment, to share, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel in order to get more updates like this one. So let's meet in the next video. Thanks a lot.